Happy Friday night. Okay, I'm doing this spontaneous and I'm just gonna do it um, really fast and show you guys something for the new followers. I'm gonna show you and talk to you about one thing. Um, uh, anyways, okay, so I just got back from Utah and I could have gone out to eat and hurried and just picked up pizza for me and my family, but I didn't because it's going to almost be faster for me. I came home, I just got in my sweats, and I'm like, I'm going to whip up pizza with what I have at the house because it's faster than actually going and getting pizza, and it's faster than me going to the grocery store, getting all these ingredients. So I had basically everything to make my homemade sauce on hand, and I had um, cheese. I guess the pepperonis got eaten when I was gone, but um, I'm going to show you just really fast one more time how to roll out the pizza dough because I'm asked that question a ton of times. And then I'm going to show you our dessert pizza. Um, we have dessert pizzas in the second cookbook. There's a strawberry one and a Nutella one. And I'm going to show you the Nutella one and kind of something different really fast. So anyways, this is fast, 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 okay? So I'm just, I already have my dough ready. Um, now, for the new ones that know the pizza night, I know you guys have heard this quite a bit, but just make sure you never add the full amount of, um, of hi guys, Oreo, pi Oreo pizza, is that what you're saying? Um, okay, so I've got my pizza paddle out. I've got my dough ready. This is just the basic dough that took me five minutes. I literally just walked in the door. And the other great thing that I was gonna tell you is that with our theme nights, I literally never break them. Like, that's what's so good about it. You know the, how the hardest part about dinner is deciding what to make? That's why our theme nights come in and they save your life because no matter where I am, if I'm eating out or if I'm cooking, I'm eating that. So it's always Thursday night pizza. I mean, Thursday Mexican, Friday pizza, Saturday grill. Like I always do that. So no matter what, it makes it easy for me because I don't know about you, but it's so hard for me to decide on what to make for dinner. And so that's what's so fun is that I knew it was pizza night. I just got home and I have everything in the house. I have everything. And it's not gonna be fancy pizzas tonight, but I have everything. The dough is basically costing you nothing to make, and I have cheese. What were some of the questions? Sorry, because um, I'm not gonna do this bad. Yes, pizza paddles. Yes, you need. Oh, go Lizzie. Hi, Tara. I would love to get your pizza peels. Where do you buy those? They look thinner than mine. These ones are brand new. Um, I think we just got these at Williams Sonoma. I'd have to ask my mom again. They are thinner, but I have one that's thick too. It really doesn't matter, but I have really, really liked these, okay? So I'm not gonna do this, I'm gonna do this fast because people don't like long videos. So I'm doing it fast. So I'm gonna divide the dough into three, okay? See how soft and playable the dough is? You don't add the full amount of, of cups of flour. So I only added two cups of flour tonight and my pizza was done, okay? So I'm going to take one of my, uh, my dough. I hope I put that down. And this is thin crust. So I'm gonna show you one cheese. Do you wanna see me just do the, the dessert one? Tell me if you just wanna see the dessert because I'm just trying to show one more time. So put some flour down. If you want, like I showed you before, um, Yes, we do, when it's you. What do you want to see? The dessert one? I love all my followers. I'm so thankful you're here. I really am. I feel so thankful that you're watching and you even want to learn this. But like I said, did you catch on our theme nights? Because that is what is so fabulous. Like I said, you can be eating anything. If you want to eat out, if you want to cook at home, that's why it takes the worry out and stress out of dinner, okay? That's what's so fun about it, okay? You want to see which one? The dessert one? Thanks, you guys. Okay, so we 
we've got it rolled out. It's thin crust. That's the way we like it. So I'm going to pull this out. I forgot to get the second cookbook out. Okay, I forgot to get the second cookbook out. So let me show you just what it says on pizza, on pizza night. Because I'm going to do this really fast. I'll just show you the dessert one because I don't think I've ever showed you a dessert pizza. So I'm going to show you really fast. So in the second cookbook, I'm getting flour all over me. I, had, I should have had this up more. Yeah, it was the quickest trip ever. Oh my gosh, look, I'm getting flour. I had a meeting that went really great. Wait till you hear about our meeting one day, you guys. You're gonna love it. Okay, so with the Nutella, you're gonna roll out the pizza dough, then put it on the peel. Now you're gonna bake. Okay, so let me then show you this. So we're gonna put, we're gonna put some of our white cornmeal. Like I said, very little. Do not put a lot on your pizza peel. Something like this, just a sprinkling, like a little dusting. Don't add too much. Then a little bit of flour, okay? Then you're going to put, oh my, the pizza, your pizza crust on here. Now, I actually have extra beer in my uh, pantry because um, I make so much beer bread that I could have uh, made the other one because it only has to ra rise for about 20 minutes. But I came home, you guys, and my kids were like, it's pizza night, where's pizza? I'm starving. So I whipped up the five minute, five, no rising, no nothing. So you're going to just brush this with olive oil. I'm gonna take you again over to the oven because this is a lot of people's questions. Now my oven is not super clean. Oh, I'm sorry, you get right on my face. So you wanna start from the back, okay? And just slowly slide it off. Do you see how easy it comes off? And when you're not putting too much cornmeal or, or flour on your peel, then it's not coming out on your stone. Okay, now my other tip, hold on really fast. My other tip is, is that um, your pizza stone has to be getting hot for at least 30 minutes before you ever start baking it because it's gonna be like a true authentic pizza oven. If you don't have your pizza stone hot and you put the pizza in there, your pizza's not gonna cook fast and I think that's where you guys are getting your pizzas then kind of gross. Maybe the sogginess um, doesn't get done in the middle. When your stone is so hot, I literally turn up my heat all the way. So my oven goes to 550. And um, some of you got to see my sister's house last night. It was so fun to go back for two seconds. We're going back for Christmas too. Um, anyways, she's got an incredible pizza oven in her house. And I'm going to show you that around Christmas time because it's incredible. So I now have two other pizzas. But right now, I'm going to show you um, the dessert one for the ones that came in. Does anybody have a question while we're waiting just two minutes? I'm not going to take a long time. So what happens with the dessert pizza is you put it in, no matter if you're making the strawberry or the Nutella pizza, you brush olive oil on the top, put it in the oven, then when it's done baking, I'm going to rub Nutella on it hot, all over it, and this is what I've added. It's kind of become a crepe. It's not in my mom's recipe, but I've added this trick and I love it. I slice up bananas, and then I put a little bit of powdered sugar. And I served this to my friends. We had a pizza night a couple of weeks ago and they loved it. And my bananas are kind of going a little brown. This was everything in my house. Taking my pieces out of the oven right now. Yay! What kinds are you making? Okay, so I wasn't even prepared. I literally just came home, didn't go to the store. I'm trying to show you real life and show you that you can do it. You can do it. You don't have to go. I'm not gonna make any fancy kind tonight. And that's okay. That's okay. We're just gonna have, we're just gonna have um, cheese. So you slice your bananas up pretty thin. And you don't have to do this, but I like bananas. So I'm just kinda gonna slice them up and then we're done. But um, I didn't show you the pizza dough again 
because are you guys starting to get it? Wasn't that a fun video of my mom going to the lady's house? Um, Holly, Holly was so cute and so nice and she was so thankful. She actually now, you know, learned how to get the dough down, her yeast down. Her yeast was way too hot. It was killing, I mean, her water was way too hot on her yeast. So that was killing it. So like I said, if you always test your water on your wrist, your yeast is going to turn out perfect. It's going to turn out perfect every single time. If it doesn't, if you see that your yeast is not growing at all, dump it and start it over. And then my other tip is, is just never add all the flour, okay? So, um, oh gosh, that banana's gross. Well, we're not gonna have a ton of banana because bananas go bad so fast. Maybe this one's good. Um, I'm gonna show you our banana cake as well on Sunday. That's another amazing cake that we have. I know I say amazing and easy a lot. I'm sorry, but that's what I say. Okay, so um, let me check the pizza because it's going to cook really fast. And then I'll just show it to you and then we'll be done. Because um, you guys get obviously uh, cheese. Oh yeah, whoa, this is already done. So let's take our peel. Sorry, you get a close view. Okay, so now to take it out, you just kind of slide it under. And then look, look how good our pizza's looking. Okay, now let's just add now the Nutella. I'm sorry, you guys. But this is dessert pizzas in book number two. But look how fast. Um, it's really fun too. Now what else I was gonna tell you, um, when you do a pizza night, it's really fun to get your kids involved. They, they like to be a part of it. Mine think it's so fun when I give them a little piece of dough to play with and let them roll it out. That's a really fun thing for my kids. So, um, I just like to say, make it a family thing. Make it a family affair. Get your kids in the kitchen. Give them a little piece of dough. Let them start acting like they're rolling it out. So do you see how we're just rubbing Nutella? If you don't like Nutella, then I guess you're not gonna like this one. But there's um, a strawberry one that's amazing. And um, when will you get me out the powdered sugar? Yeah. I actually forgot. So when it comes out hot, you're rubbing this Nutella all over. It's so good. Just as much as you want. This is, this is all to your liking. There's not an exact amount. Now I'm going just to place bananas on the top like this. It's smelling good. I, I love crepes. If you love crepes and that, this is for you. Yeah. But anyways, that's done. No, no, powdered sugar in the white. Okay, sorry. Okay, so now we've got bananas on top and I'm just kind of gonna sprinkle with some powdered sugar <laughs> and then we're done. Yeah, Nutella's and strawberry too, I've done that. Do you see how yummy this is? Anyways, I wanted to show you the dessert pizza. I've never showed it to you. But um, my pantry is a mess. I've been gone and I'm making so many. I'll have to tell you what I'm doing later. That I have so many things I'm doing. Where did my pizza cutter go? Anyways, that's it. <laughs> Real life, yeah, exactly. Real life. But I came home, I just got home five minutes ago and look what we're doing, whipping up pizza. Anyways, I wanted to show you, we could be the pizza cutter out of the, uh, Door. Anyways, done, done. Just wanted to show you that. Hope you're having a wonderful Friday night. Love that you guys are making um, pizza. Make sure to um, ask me any questions. We can do pizza every Friday night until you are done. Until, weren't you in Utah this morning? Yes, I literally just got home. I just got home. It was the fastest trip. It's good. I'm having dessert pizza before the pizza. Okay, I love you guys. Um, Try this out. Hope you have a good night. Hope you learned something. Thanks for everything. Talk to you later.